Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up all the happy mail I received this month in my P.O. box. I hope you'll stick around and see what came. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The last day of the month is almost as exciting as the first day for me. It is when I stop by and do the show us your sheet load slash happy mail video and I share with you all of the cards that I received in the mail for the month. This used to be strictly just show us your sheet load but every once in a while I get a card just because so I like to share them all. If you would like to ever send happy mail or a video for the show us your sheet load feature, down at the bottom of the description box is my P.O. box address, and I also have a video that gives you all the guidelines how you can show us your sheet load. Not only could you send one in for this end of the month video, you can also share here on YouTube or over on Instagram with the provided hashtags for each printable. Today, I'll be sharing a quick look at each of the cards I received and letting you know who the artist is. Let's go ahead and open this mail. First up was a package from my crafty Irish friends. In Rita's envelope, she sent me in these adorable Nutcracker inspired Christmas cards and a couple new postcards for my postcard wall. Thank you so much. Trish also used a Christmas theme for her set this month. I like those deep, rich reds and blues. Thank you! Next up are two packages from my crafty Danish friend, Joan of Denmark. Um, I absolutely missed sharing one of her packages last month. In that one, she sent in these six cards using the September 2022 sheet load, and then she made a smaller insert card with a note for me that used that same layout. So fun. In her October package, she also created a little card with the same layout and created a set of more masculine cards. I love the little metallic accents, and I know you can't tell on screen, but that paper that kind of looks like pebbles, it actually feels like pebbles too. It's so neat. Thank you, Joan. Cheryl S. from Utah sent in two cards this month, both with a Halloween theme. The one on the left uses the October 2022 sheet load, and the one on the right is a rewind. And as I was looking at it, I'm like, that is some really neat paper in the background. Well, it turns out she made that paper and then added the metallic paint for that starry night look. Thank you, Cheryl. Iona S. from Washington also used October 2022, and she created this nice kind of autumn-themed birthday card. Such a great idea. Thank you, Iona. Lori K. from Minnesota sent in two October 2022 examples this month. On the right is a nice birthday card, and on the left is a fall hello. I love those leaf accents. Thank you. Heather H. from New York also used October 2022 for a gorgeous fall thank you card. I love those die cut leaves and thank you so much for the nice note inside, Heather. Ingrid M. from Pennsylvania sent in this beautiful card. It uses a September 2022 sheet load, which was a mini slimline with tent topper. I love that cute little bear and that a bee down in the corner. The only time I will say I like a bee. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Jane M. from Ohio used October 2022 for this fall thank you card. I love the variety of paper she used and how she put that sentiment on a die cut leaf. Thank you, Jane. 
Carmen D. from Colorado sent in this Christmas card using October 2022. I am loving all of the depth on that die cut sentiment and it might be hard to see on screen but the stamp sentiment almost looks like it has like a plaid texture or coloring to it. She has made a video which if you scan the QR code you can watch and I'll be on my way shortly to see how she did that. Thank you Carmen. Beth from Indiana, who you might know as Bourbon Creek Crafts, sent me this happy fall card with a nice note just because. Beth is one of my collaboration team members, so make sure to stop back by in a couple days to see what she has done with the November 2022 sheet load of cards. Thank you, Beth. And speaking of collaboration team members, this next envelope was from Karen C. of Virginia, who is also on my sheet load team. On the left, those three are various October sheet loads from past years. And then over on the right was just a cute card with a nice note for me. And she mentioned she hoped she can join me next year at Stamp Joy. I am hoping so too. Thank you, Karen. Speaking of Stamp Joy, if you haven't seen it yet, my daughter and I attended in October in Des Moines and I am doing a vlog series. I still have a couple videos to go, but I will have the playlist linked in the description box below so you can get all caught up. We definitely had a blast. Mary F. from Washington sent in this fun Halloween card. Not only does it just look cute like this, but check out what it does. Isn't that so fun? I got some of these action wobblers a year or two ago and I need to get them out and use them. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send in a card and for your notes. I just love to see your cards and read those every month. If you enjoyed seeing what came in my P.O. box this month, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.